Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Daddy Studios. All right, uh, I've got the, the boat and the charger project is done and uh, might need a little touch up here and there, but uh, I'll get right to it and show you what's going on here. So there we go. Stand up here. This thing barely fits on my desk, it's so long. But uh, all right, so yeah, uh, 1972 um, Dodge Charger. This is MPC street charger which is pretty much based on the uh, richard petty um stock car and they have just they use the same chassis and just basically built an interior tub changed the motor up uh but the you know the motor's pretty nicely detailed comes with all the plumbing but you can see it's got pretty much that nascar tube chassis and everything in there and uh i also i just uh i just bought one of the uh 116 scale 69 Dodge Chargers, the, the General Lee, of course. Uh, that kit, which is pretty much sitting on this exact same chassis. Same thing. Uh, they just changed it up again. Different interior, different tires and rims. So, um, anyway, yeah, I'm real real happy with the way this turned out. And uh, I'll move along to the boat. So, this is a 3D printed um, 16 scale drag boat. And... Uh, Pretty much did it to match the colors of the car, obviously. Uh, as I told you guys, I ended up changing over to plan B on this upper part of the hull. I was going to do, I started doing an airbrush mural like an ocean scene, and I just didn't like it. So I went to plan B, and this was my plan, was to have the complementing colors you know, from the hood of the charger carried over to the boat. Um, I am going to, well, let's see, I'll get in there. Um, so yeah, I basically used, uh, this is all House of Colors candies um, and base coats. And you've got, uh, it comes with most of the detail parts. And there's the trailer, as you can see, matching trailers. Um, picked up some of the, the colors off the body graphics on the boat and the car the same way. This is really nice. Uh, it comes with two different tongues. Um, literally a whole front half of the trailer different tongue applications comes with a whole lot of hitches and third wheel or fifth wheels on this one anyway your, your front wheel support um, this boat is really heavy I've actually noticed that the trailer is actually kind of bowing in the middle from the weight of the boat a little bit so you know I, I think we're we're still um, we'll all find out what will happen to all this 3D printed stuff as time goes on um but I have noticed uh, a little bit of this. I just noticed the other day, I noticed the fender was cocked a little bit and I thought it was the fender, but it, I think it's actually the trailer. The weight of the boat is actually kind of bowing the trailer a little bit. So we'll see what happens in the long term. Anyway, uh, I added uh, a little bit of plumbing to this. I don't know that much about these boats, so I had to watch a ton of videos. Of course, the you know the distributor's one thing, and they did the battery lines and not sure on the water lines and I mean it was different with every boat I looked at uh, this one's got tunnel ram on it uh, it's carbureted um, on the interior I did add some uh, some photo reduced gauges in there try to get in there as close as I can it comes with the tack and everything else and uh, mostly just paint details and everything else it came with uh, of course I used the the Molotow chrome uh, airbrush the, the headers and the heads this comes in one solid color and the, the tunnel ram basically anything chrome on this and I did a mix I also I, I really like a Tamiya color um, this silver that they make well, they make a gloss aluminum I really like this one's called silver leaf uh, I also like and I did the moon tanks in that color and then accident them with chrome did a little decal work in there with some moon eyes and put some pinstripes on them. Um, the seats uh, are matching with flake. I'd use some really, really, really fine flake. It's 0500 flake. It's the finest stuff I've got in the final clear on this, but uh, it's really pretty out in the sun. And I will, at some point, well, I got some smudgy some fingerprints on the back of it there. Uh, at some point, I'll, I'll do a short. I'll take this out in the sun and uh, the car and the boat and let you take a look at it out there so anyway so that's that um 
I think it's a nice looking team. I really liked work, working with the large scale. Uh, it's great. I tell you, the older I get, the more I like this big scale stuff. And uh, I'm going to show you another big scale project. In another video, I'm going to do right after this, I'm going to follow right up and show you another one and tell you what plans I've got for another large scale model. But uh, so this one, anyway, this one's in the can. And um, that's about it. So I'll take one last little overview there. And this is, uh, you can buy this off of eBay. Um, easy to find. And I don't have the fellas card here with me right now, or I would tell you exactly who the vendor is, but uh, he's also doing some work right now for me on some tires and rims for a couple of other projects. But uh, yeah, that's this one. This one's wrapped up. So anyway, all right. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'll be shooting this other video in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. Yeah, I can't find my on-off button. There we go.